Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Sherry. Today's video, I am going to show you guys um, a look that I created using all drugstore products. Now, this is a look that I would consider um, back to school, student friendly, a low budget look for sure. Uh, but I would also consider this as a pretty glam, colorful look. So if you have a special occasion going on, a prom, or just a fun party that you want to go to, I think this is a look that's not going to break your bank, but also it is just fun and interesting. So the eye look that I have going on here, I use the eyeshadow palette by Wet n Wild, and this is their not a basic peach palette. So um, if you want to see how to create a look using very affordable products from the drugstore, please keep on watching. Starting from a clean base, put on sunscreen. Put on sunscreen every single day, even if it's a cloudy day, UVA is still going to penetrate even when there are clouds. And I genuinely believe that no matter what age you are, you can always benefit from wearing sunscreen daily. After sunscreen, I like to wear a primer. This is NYX Hydro Touch Hydration Base. Now, this is a hydrating primer. There are many primers out there. Um, smoothing primer, silicone, pore filling primers. Pick one that fits your own skin concern. Personally, I have oily combination skin and I consider myself having large pores around my cheek nose and forehead area but i don't like the feeling of a smoothing primer personally and i do think that my foundation just sits more beautifully on top of a hydrating primer like this it is a good investment if you want to make your complexion look dewy and just healthy throughout the day i like to use just a little bit like one small pea size amount and just blend it out using my fingers Now I have done my brow off camera first. The foundation that I recommend to everyone out there is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is such a beautiful drugstore foundation. The performance of this foundation is so exceptional that I think it is good for every skin type out there. If you are looking for a dewy, natural foundation look. Now, personally, I think if you are going to school, um, really a natural foundation look is what you should go for, no matter what kind of skin type you are, because you really don't want to spend time during the day worrying about your foundation caking or reapply concealers and all that stuff. Pick one that's gonna look natural and lasting. So I'm gonna demonstrate applying this foundation. What I like to do is to apply one pump. I like to use a foundation brush. The one that I'm using is It Cosmetics Airbrush Foundation Brush. It is a densely packed powder foundation brush. You can use it for cream or powder. I like to start with areas that I need the most coverage and just slowly blend it out. I prefer a brush over um, beauty sponge is because I think brush allows you to really buff the foundation in and melt it into the skin. This product um, has just enough pigmentation that it covers red patches, some of my acne scars, but also leaving the skin looks dewy and just healthy. Next, I'm going to do my eyes. Um, the reason I don't do concealer right after is because I am expecting some fallout and I would like to use my concealer to apply after my eye makeup so that it can wipe away and clean up some of the fallout. For the eye look, I am going to use Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette. Now, if you are a student and on a budget, I highly recommend Wet n Wild Color Icon series. It is a series of um, eyeshadow palette that features different colored themed. If you are into a nude peachy toned eyeshadow look, this one is for you. It is in the color Not a Basic Peach. I also know that they come, um, there are raspberry colored themed and smoky green colored themes. So check them out if you are more into a raspberry color, warm color tone palette. That one is a great option. If you're into smoky eye look, the green one is a great option. If you want to have fun pops of color like this gold one, blue one right here, but also want to be able to have options for a very basic, neutral, nude eyeshadow look. Um, 
these transition shades and a warm orange um and the dark brown here got you covered you can even do a smoky eye look with it so today i'm very excited to use this palette i think this is a great um investment in your eyeshadow collection and this one is only five dollars i believe very very cheap so first i am going to start with this transition shade right here it is the lighter transition shade it is like a white nude uh, priming color use a large blending brush any blending brush would do i am just going to apply it liberally onto my eyelid now i personally have monolids i have a video up on my channel that talks about smoky eye technique for monolid if you struggle with um, applying eye look in general for monolid go check that video out i'll link it in the description box below Okay, the reason I applied this color is just so that my base is smooth and other powder eyeshadow on top is going to blend beautifully. Next, I'm going to use a smaller blending brush and I am going to use the transition color over here. This is the darker chocolate brownie transition shade. I'm starting from the outer corner of my eyelid and blending inward um, in my crease area. Get yourself a blending brush like this. This one is by Real Techniques Domed Eyeshadow Brush. I highly recommend this brush. I think it's so versatile and there are so many situations that you can use it. Um, I'm going to use this brush to blend the edges of my darker transition shade. Get a densely packed synthetic brush like this um, that's kind of slim um, from the side. So I am going to use this brush to apply this golden shimmering shade right here to pack it on top of my eyelid. I want to swatch this color for you guys. It is a very beautiful kind of yellowish gold, I would say. It has its own warmth to it. This gold is wearable and it's kind of neutral. I think it's perfect for this look. I really like this gold. Okay, so this brush, I'm going to really pack on this color. Now, this is the step that you may get some fallout, but don't worry, we're gonna clean it with concealer. Build it up to your desired intensity. Next, I want to apply this color right here on the outer corner of my eyelid. It's kind of shimmery, but it also has a dark, smoky base to it, so I think it's perfect for this eye look, um, transitioning from the goat. It is just a one swipe swatch. Um, I think it shows that the color is kind of warm, it is a shimmery shade for sure, but it has a gorgeous um, sultriness to it. I like it right at my outer corner right here. And just gently blend it into the gold. You want to blend your eyeshadows really well so that it looks seamlessly transitioned into your brow bone. After blending out the eyeshadow, I'm going to use a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the color black. It is 601 Black Bean. It is a matte black color and I am going to use it as an eyeliner pant. What I do is I am going to gently close my eyelid and use it on um, the bottom part of my upper lash line. Smoke it out so that it looks less defined. And at the end, I'm going to subtly bring it upward so that it looks like a cat eye shape. Bring it really close to your lash line. Next, I am going to use this Kiko eyeshadow stick. This is one of their 8 hour no transferring eyeshadow long lasting stick. Bright blue color. Um, it is in the shade number 41. I really like this blue. The reason I'm using it is because I want to apply it on my lower lash line to add a bit of contrasting color um, to this eye look. And also, we have a similar blue over here. So as you can see, this blue itself, it is not that impressive. Personally, I think of all the shade in this palette, I am not, the only shade that I'm not satisfied with is this blue. I think it lacks pigment, it is not that creamy. Um, maybe smoking out a pencil like this, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. My lower lash line.
this um, the Kiko eyeshadow stick is very cheap. It is drugstore price. It's about like five dollars, I think, when it's on sale. Um, and they have a good range of colors. The shadows are extremely creamy, and I'm personally a big fan of just sh eyeshadow stick because they save you time. They are kind of like a swipe, blend, and go situation. Use a clean brush. Um, this one I have used earlier to smoke out the eyeshadow, so it's kind of like bluish. Um, I'm going to use this color to smoke my lower lash out. Okay, so the eyeshadow look is pretty much complete. Now we do have a lot of masks that we've created while blending the eyeshadow. Um, I am going to use a concealer. This one is by Tarte Shape Tape. Um, any concealer would do. I am only using this because this is the only concealer that I have got left and next to me. So um, I usually get some darkness right in my inner corner, under my eyes, and at the outer edge. I'm just going to blend it out to really cover up the mask that I've created earlier. The brush I like to use, and it's my favorite concealer blending brush, is by Real Technique. Um, this is their expert concealer brush. It is just the perfect size to get right in there to blend out the concealer. So next I am going to finish my other eye off camera really quick, but I want you to guys see a before and after comparison. I am going to set my concealer using Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. It is a really good matte powder to stop your concealer from creasing. I also like to set my T-zone with it to prevent my T-zones from looking shiny. I'm going to apply some mascara. The one that I'm using is um, Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. It is a $4 mascara that performs really well for a dramatic eye look. That is it for our eye makeup. Um, next, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face and for blush and contour slash bronzer today, I am using the e.l.f. palette. This is their Aqua series and this one is in the bronzed peach shade. So this product contains a cream blush contour slash bronzer. Now, the reason I say this is um, you can use it as a contour slash bronzer product is because this type of brown is neither too warm nor to coat. So um, you can just apply it under your cheekbones and it works as a bronzer and a contour at the same time. I like to apply this um, blush starting from my cheekbone and just blend it outwards. I like to blend my cream blush upwards so that it gives a lifted, youthful look. This brush is by Luxie. Next, using the Real Technique Multitask um, Powder Brush, I am going to use bronzer the same way. Applying it really close to the blush and blending them together. Bring it down to my neck. And on my forehead. Lastly, for highlights, I am using NYX Dose of Dew Highlighting Stick. It comes in this beautifully pinky champagne color. All you need to do is to use your finger to warm it up and then gently pat it on places that you would normally apply highlighter. You want to dab it into your skin instead of swiping it or else you're just gonna pick up the foundation underneath and disrupt the rest of your face makeup. I'm also going to apply it the inner corner, a little bit on top of my bridge, nose bridge, and on my cubics bow. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay, last but not least, I applied this uh, nude lip color. This one is by NYX. It's their soft matte lip cream in the color Abu Dhabi. I personally adore this color because um, my skin tone and just my personal preference, I don't like a lot of uh, 
nude color and this one actually works surprisingly well for me it is kind of like a brownish pink but it's more pink than brown and that's why i like it all right guys so this is the final look i really like how it turns out besides this concealer everything else that i've used are drugstore you can easily find a dupe for tarte shape tape for example the makeup revolution one um is just as good if not better i think it's just amazing that drugstore these days are producing such high quality makeup products and selling them at such reasonable price. I really want to make this video and do a colorful look like this to show you that you can really be adventurous with drugstore makeup. If you are a student on a budget, don't be afraid, there are really affordable makeup products. Um, like the ones that I use today and they perform really well. I will talk to you in the next video soon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I will try to upload um, content very regularly. So stay in touch with me. See you next time. Bye-bye.